for not well not for everybody being at home isn't always a positive thing yeah. and you know a lot of the usual coping mechanisms of you, you leaving the house been hanging out with friends have been taken away from them. Mm-hmm. Um, that said, you know, recently we started going out doing uh, detached work. Our young people are now heading out and, and playing basketball with each other for contact. So there's something there about, you know, like, like I said, like, yeah, there's, 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 I guess there's something, something there really about, like I said, they're, they're not finding it difficult. They're finding it quite difficult being at home at the moment. We've seen, I've seen from our young people, they're feeling quite overwhelmed and they're facing huge changes as well. Like from the report you've seen, there's an increased level of anxiety. So some of their roles at home may have increased. They may have to look after their siblings or parents more. Um, and also their future as well, in terms of jobs, education, and, and coping with that certainty is, is quite immense for them, especially at a young age, being exposed to that level of, level of uncertainty. And also some of our young people, especially uh, black and minority ethnic groups, uh, young parents, young carers, or or those with pre-existing um, mental health conditions are disproportionately affected because of what's going on. Um, so there are multiple factors that are at play here, and we I think we all need to be conscious of that.